please consider subscribing to this channel and uh, like and comment share this video if finally you will like it some people interested in contemporary middle eastern history may have heard already of this name of the arnauts that are living in the middle east for many centuries but unfortunately few or very few of us are informed about the arnauts their identity life and traditions their social impact in the societies where they live the use of the term arnaut to define the albanian origin in the middle eastern countries was greatly increased after the, the weakening and uh, uh, finally the fall of the ottoman state when with the emergence of nationalism different peoples within this empire started to create states centered on their ethnic religious origin the phenomenon of the appropriation of the name Arnau increased this name has also been adopted by christian albanians mostly catholics to show their origin for example in addition to muslims of albanian origin we can find we can also find christian families of albanian origin mainly in lebanon where part of their history dates back to the appointment of the Albanian Catholic politician Vaso Pasha by the administration of the Ottoman Empire as governor of Lebanon. Other have other names that are similar, like the Al Albani. We have the famous Al Albani family in Jordan. Arnaut founded modern Egypt. Since 1514, Albanian soldiers under the Ottoman Empire have entered the Arab world and since 1517, Egypt too. Some of the governors were Albanian, Koja Sinan Pasha or Abdurrahman Arnavud Pasha, who was also the law governor of uh, most of Hungary, Ottoman Hungary. Later, we had other leaders that came, but none of them had an important role in Egypt, except the founder of modern Egypt, I love that guy. Mehmet Ali or Muhammad Ali. He came in Egypt as an Arnaut mercenary in 1801. The fate of Egypt, but also the region, changed under his rather long rule of 44 years, between 1805, 1848 or 49. He achieved many goals modernizing the country making a large modern army and and capable of defeating in 1833 1833 and again in 1840 the armies of the sultan in constantinople modernizing the assertive egypt were to have won the war then the european powers could have been shut out and lost their influence in the region he founded the modern egypt state and he created an empire in the middle east that would replace the Ottoman Empire if it was not for the great powers destroying his army and destroying his empire and letting the dying Ottoman dynasty survive. How did he took Egypt? He took with Egyptian support and Albanian mercenaries. After some time, these mercenaries were not loyal. They even tried to kill him couple of times. Usually undisciplined and dangerous, many of them fell taking uh, the Hejaz, the holy cities and winning the war against the Saudi first state. What was left of them were only the most loyal troops. Uh, Muhammad Ali's son Said changed the, the policy of the country of Egypt. He accepted the building of uh, Suez Canal and uh, started the process of bankruptcy of the Egyptian state by uh, having all these investments and taking all these huge, unbelievable, high interest loans from the European countries and their banks. Under Ismail, the son of uh, Ibrahim and the nephew of Muhammad Ali, Egypt developed, but the debt of the country starts to bankrupt in 1875. The Khedive is forced to, to sell his shares on the Suez Canal to the British. Against the British occupation and influence, the Egyptian soldiers, officers 
under uh, Ahmed uh, Urabi revolt against the Khedive. The British settled in Egypt by 1881. The Arnauts are still ruling Egypt. They are speaking in Turkish. Even later, in 1913, Fuad, who later became Sultan of Egypt between 1917 and 22, and King between 22 and 1936. In 1913, he made unsuccessful attempts to obtain the throne of Albania for himself. In 1913, Egypt and Sudan were ruled by his nephew, Abbas II. And the likelihood that Fuad becoming the monarch in, the, in this country, in Egypt, seemed very distant. This and the fact that the dynasty was of Albanian origin encouraged Fuad to see Albanian throne. We have no information or data if Fuad uh, actually spoke Albanian. After the, the creation of the State of Israel and the loss of the war in 1948 by Egypt, the influence of Arnauts and Circassians and Turkish elite paid even more. Even in 1952, the King Farouk had to abdicate after the the coup d'etat by uh, Nasser and other free officers. Finally, the monarchy disappeared definitely. An anecdote about King Farouk in Greece in the 50s, after he lost power in Egypt, shows the tenacity of the roots and origins. The king was being refused to access to a restaurant, which was forbidden to Turks and Arabs. At that moment, he protested finally. You see, I am not Turkish. I am Albanian. In reality, he had more Turkish blood, Circassian blood, than Albanian. Uh, opponents of the regime were imprisoned. King Farouk, after the revolution, he was followed in exile by more than 4,000 Albanian families or Arnaut family, 20,000 people in total. In this list, it is also the former King Zog of Albania who had gone into exile in Egypt. Tarnished by the monar monarchical decadence and bourgeois style, but also very important, mostly speaking only Arabic. The Egyptian Arnauts could not return in their ancestral Albania, being foreigners for many Albanians. The small Albanian country was also a closed one, a, f a communist state, an, ath an atheist state. So it was not at all an option for them to return to the Balkans. Some of the families of Albanian origin did return to the to the country in the uh, under the Sadat regime, but the number is not important, and their influence is a thing of the past. Thank you for watching this episode, and for other videos in the future, please share this one and uh, comment if you liked it. In this uh, way, I will make other ones in the future. Thanks. See you in the next video. Video. Bye.